We know that we have a, a housing affordability and a housing availability crisis in the city. And most of the solutions that we hear about are building new capacity, adding to uh, more floors on high rises and so on. Um, what I'm proposing here is that we look at, at character homes as an opportunity for creating more housing uh, uh, throughout the fabric of the city. And character houses are, are, are pre-1940s or, or World War II houses. Character homes uh, can help to mitigate the, the affordability uh, crisis, and they can also um, help with complete, complete communities and ground-oriented development in a way that I think is really important for maintaining the character of, of neighborhoods. The city undertook a multi-year character home rezoning review to address the wasteful demolition of character homes being replaced by luxury homes, yet the resulting RS zoned character house incentives have not prevented demolitions. In 2018, for example, 235 character homes were demolished, while only 27 have been retained through character house incentives. Surveys have shown 70% support for allowing multiple secondary suites as a retention op option, yet allowing two secondary suites as proposed has not been implemented for more rentals. And although some previous changes were made, building bylaws continue to make renovation of character houses difficult. So this motion, although it does seem elaborate, is intended to, to address these problems by um, providing expanding alternatives in the bylaws, um, and in particular, trying to make it easier for, um, for people with character homes to renovate, to add additional capacity, and overall creating more housing opportunities throughout the body of the whole city. Great, thank you very much. Now, um, I, we're, I have question, any questions from, uh, from council to this one? I don't see any. Okay, so I, uh, are you moving this with the language that you have in it with no amendments, is that? Uh, I'd like to, I have been considering more amendments. Um, I'm, as you can tell, I'm uh, struggling yeah. a li little bit right now. Um, but nothing written to present to us at the moment or? Not at the moment, but I would like the opportunity to carry this forward with, um, with amendment and uh, just uh, beg the, the patience of council. Okay, uh, sure, Councillor Dejanova. Uh, I'm just wondering if, is it possible to make amendments after hearing from speakers if a motion's not out of order. But perhaps there were some concerns always, with it. Always during I'm debate just, I just discussion. wanted to know. You would call a motion out of order if it was out of order. Yep. Uh, but there could be a possibility that amendments could be made after hearing from speakers at committee. Yeah, once it's seconded, it's on the floor, okay. and then people can do whatever they like with it. So. Thanks very much. Okay, so thanks. This is seconded, however, before... Uh, did I have a seconder for this then? I'll second. Okay, thanks. Councillor Dejanova, second. Now, before we move on, is that I did check the text with legal and uh, with this one as well, and they are concerned that um, some of the language would, um, I'm just trying to remember the exact wording here, uh, is that um, the way it's worded is that we shouldn't hear from speakers because it would compromise a future public hearing process. Uh, so again, I can send you that. So this doesn't mean it's out of order. It just means it should not. It should not go to uh, speakers tomorrow because it would. My understanding of the motion, it would trigger a public hearing process, and our debate on it would compromise the. Uh, it's so. I'm just informing you of that. We're not debating I, it. I, I, no, I just want to draw attention to the fact that I specifically removed reference to public hearing okay. from the motion. And we're not we're not debating it. That's the note I have from legal. Is that uh, that we're advised that it shouldn't go to the public uh, tomorrow uh, because it uh, because of some discussion would interfere with the public hearing process. And again, I can give you a full written reason for that. Um, but that's. Uh, but I'm just informing council of that now. Well, I, I had requested it's not a, de it's not a, a legal debate. opinion on this. It's which not a debate. I've not received. It's not a debate. Information. My only question is yes. if it's not out of order, but the mover of the motion uh, isn't happy with the process, or it doesn't doesn't favor the process moving forward, they at this point could also withdraw it 
and bring it back, calling notice again on it. At it sure. Related. There's all kinds of options for. Is that correct? Or because I, it's on the agenda, if it's no, withdrawn? because it's on the floor now. Of okay. of, we'd have to vote for that to happen. Okay, so we'd have to vote. So the mover would have to move uh, reconsideration or uh, ask for withdrawal. Withdraw then withdraw the. And you need unanimous. Signature. However, uh, that being the case, is that the recommendation is that it's not referred to, um, it's not referred to speaker to hear from speakers tomorrow. That's a recommendation from legal because it would compromise a future public hearing process. It's not debate. I'm just informing you of that. And again, it's tough for me to get all these rulings because I just get the language like days before and I try my best to get right. it's but it's it's not a debate. So No, but I I, it, yep, that sounds like debate to me. So it, it's, it's it's not debate. I'm just informing council of, of where we are. You can if you like, but it's not really a challenge. It's a it's a uh, it's, I'm not ruling it out of order. I'm informing you of what legal has informed me about this. I'm informing council as to what legal has informed me about the motion as it is currently worded. Recommending that it not be referred to uh, hear from speakers. Right. So we, with that information in mind, there are speakers that have signed up to speak to this. So... Uh, I need a motion to refer. You. Okay, so we need to know where it's going. Wait, don't wait. Just one at a time. Thanks, Councillor Bly. I'm just asking for a two-minute recess because that's quite a significant shift to moving forward. And given Colleen, or sorry, uh, Councillor Hardwick's recent car accident and concussion, I think that's quite overwhelming to know what to do with next. So, could I just have a? Could we call a two-minute recess, please? Uh, sure. Sorry. And while you're doing that, would you give us a motion to extend to finish at least this item? Motion to extend. Okay. All in favor of extending? Yes. Okay. Great. All opposed? Any opposed? Okay, so we're, we have a recess for five minutes and then we can extend. All right then, so we're all back. So again, I can, need any additional explanation or is everything okay? Because I, I will send this along to you. Again, it's not, it's advice, it's not, an, it's not like it's out of order. Uh, I have Councillor Carr on the queue. Councillor Carr? It's not, in, out of, it's not out of order, just the advice from illegal is that we should not hear from speakers okay. because it would it would bias any future public hearing or had the potential to do that. Okay. So it could be heard without speakers, for example. Okay, thank you. Um, I have just forwarded to staff a um, an amendment No, I just want to make sure that it's everybody's got it or that it goes up. Maybe I can, I can just wait to speak to it till it's sure. to the people. Yep. Um, my amendment is a referral motion um, for this motion um, that it be referred to staff to bring back through the citywide plan process and other work in progress to ensure full public engagement on the issues identified in the motion. I think the public is very interested in this. They were before, and I felt that much of the input from a previous process was not included in the recommendations by staff, and um, I think this particular motion does include many of those ideas so it very much needs this this motion should be considered um, it should not be dropped it should be considered I want to see it um, move forward but I don't I, but I think the timing of it and the resources that it would take and the peremptorial um, movement forward without uh, going back to the public is is not appropriate so this would go back to the public engage with them and that staff be directed to bring back an evaluation of the 
character home retention program in the second quarter of 2020, which is very quick. Um, at the very beginning of our um, citywide planning process and the engagement there. And uh, clearly I, um, identify improvements to that program and quick start measures to be considered by council in order to accomplish uh, the general density that this moves forward. So my, um, my motion is to move forward, but to make sure that we do it in a way that doesn't circumvent the citywide planning process, that enables the engagement of the public um, in this, and that moves forward quickly with, squ with quick starts. I don't think the timelines are accomplishable anyway in this motion in terms of the degree to which how long it takes um, changes to our baseline zoning to proceed. But this gives it a little bit more time and the ability to, um, as I say, move forward um, and, and get some quick starts happening. I really um, also just want to say very much commend um, Councillor Hardwick for bringing this forward. It was a huge disappointment to me that this um, previous program uh, did not accomplish the kinds of changes that are embodied in this motion, uh, but I think the timing <clears throat> and public engagement are important aspects that uh, my motion accomplishes. Thanks very much. I do have a seconder for this. Point of order. Okay. Of order. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Mayor, I would like you to rule on this. I find this to be out of order because the character home retention program is quite different, and that's how I remember it, than Councillor Hardwick's motion. And it is so different, in fact, that I think that although I, I, I may be open to some amendments to the motion, uh, and I think that Councillor Hardwick's already asked that. To, to report back, but I'm just trying to articulate the reasons why, okay. but I don't think it's exactly the same thing, so I'd ask that it be ruled out. So you're wondering if the motion is in, in order, uh, so staff, you just have to give me five minutes to uh, see if I can confer and, and provide a ruling on this. Uh, so can I have a motion for a five minute? Councillor Bly, thank you. Councillor Dejanova, all in favor? Thank you very much. I'll take the five minutes. Great. Okay, um, I did uh, do have a ruling and uh, we did check with the legal department and I went through the various clauses of why something can be out of order and this does not appear to be out of order. So um, that's the ruling. I can provide that in writing if you like, but uh, okay. So we need a seconder for this amendment. Councillor Boyle, thanks. Now we're gonna go in the amendment queue. Anybody like to speak to this? Please put your name on. Councillor Dejanova, up to five minutes. Thank you very much. I will not be supporting this referral because I think that this could actually put on hold uh, the most affordable housing that we could possibly see in our city. Uh, although the wording of character home retention uh, is in this referral specifically, um, what this ultimately will do is send Councillor Hardwick's motion, which focuses on looking at uh, putting more secondary suites online. And I think that we, when we talk about affordable housing across the spectrum, that is the most affordable type of housing aside from single room occupancy units in our city. And I would hate to see us waiting to build housing. I was very clear that I support citywide plan, but I will not stop supporting housing until citywide plan is complete. And I think that if we looked at the cost of those affordable secondary suites today, and if we looked at the cost of those affordable secondary suites, when citywide plan is complete, there would be a huge difference. That would mean some people couldn't live in our city any, any longer. And I have to say that as we, we will enter another public hearing tonight, but we've heard several times at public hearing and we've debated here on the floor of council, it is very important that we put more affordable housing online now that we do not wait to do that we are one of the three least affordable cities in the city of vancouver and i see some very thoughtful uh, ideas from Councillor hardwick that i would like to be able to and i'll just talk about my intention i would hope you all would not vote for this referral because i think that there is a way to amend or to count quote Councillor fry to tease certain things out <laughs> uh, of of the other motion but would 
it would allow us to move forward with a secondary suite program to help people who truly need affordable housing, especially younger people in our city. I'm not saying it's all younger people, it's seniors too. But for that reason, I certainly will not be supporting the referral, and I instead would, if the referral fails, I would like to move this to the committee under unfinished business. So I'd just like council to know my intention. I think we can give this more, more thoughtful discussion and argument tomorrow, but I'd hate to see that. I'd hate to see secondary suites in our city wait. We also have a housing update coming this December. I would hate to see it wait until citywide plan. So for those reasons, I will not be supporting this. Thanks very much. And it does seem like everybody wants in on this, which is fine, but uh, we do have a hard start for our public hearing at 6 o'clock uh, by terms of the Vancouver Charter. So although we have a little bit of leeway in terms of the absolute start time, I just remind you of that as we go through this list. Uh, Councillor Swanson, please go ahead. I support the referral, but I have a, an amendment for it, which I sent in. Sorry? Oh. You didn't get it? We had a computer go down. Um, okay, we haven't received it. We've been having some computer problems. Uh, did you send it? It just had the two front computers go down. Can you forward it under? Uh, I, I didn't receive it. Counselors slash DL. You, Councillor Carr, forwarded on to to uh, Rose Rosemary. Thanks. Sorry. Can you speak about it now, uh, Councillor Swanson? Yeah, it's, a, it's it's basically to try and ensure that at least some of the suites that result from preserving these homes are affordable to lower income people. So it's basically that staff report on how character and heritage homes can be used to create housing that people earning under 50K per year can afford, just as an addition to Councillor Carr's referral. Okay, so I need a seconder for that. Second, so we're going to that amendment Q2. If anybody would like to speak to this. We've had it. It's been sent to you, though? Has it been sent to you? Okay. I don't have it. That's the thing. I would read it. Rosemary, could you read it out? I think we have it here. So uh, if you haven't seen it, the amendment says, and that staff report on how character and heritage homes can be used to create housing that people earning under $50,000 per year can afford. So that's what's on the floor. Councillor Dejanova on the list to speak to this. Go ahead, Councillor Dejanova. Again, I won't be supporting this because I'm worried that time will run out. And I think the most affordable solutions are the solutions that we may be able to um, consider tomorrow in unfinished business. I've heard from Councillor Hardwick that that was her intention, and I'm I'm happy to entertain that in unfinished business tomorrow, but we are not going to get there if we support a referral. So I will not be supporting a referral, and instead we'll be supporting affordable housing options as soon as possible in the city of Vancouver. Um, okay, uh, so that's good. Anybody else would like to speak to this? Nope. So we'll have a vote on the amendment. Read it out again for you if you're uncertain about. And that staff report on how character and heritage homes can be used to create housing that people earning under $50,000 per year can't afford.
Right, and I'll have to read out the results because they're not going to show. Okay, so we have um, Councillor Dejanova in opposition, uh, and otherwise it's, uh, people are in favour. So that passes. So now we're back to the main queue. Amendment Q1, Councillor Swanson, anything else? Okay, thank you. Oops, going back to the Councillor Kirby Young. Uh, thank you. I'll be brief. Um, I'll be voting against the referral. I think it's an important conversation that council um, can and should have in the public eye. I'd like to hear from speakers to help inform um, uh, our sort of understanding um, of this particular motion. I think that uh, there are a number of speakers that want to come and speak to this. I think they deserve to be heard. Um, I don't like the practice of um, shuff shuffling off speakers, which seems to be um, developing and I think that the public has a right to participate in that. Um, I also think that affordability is a key issue and by deferring this to uh, the second quarter in the citywide plan, we're not looking at something which is a value that I've heard most councillors express across the spectrum, which is how do we build additional density across the city in all neighbourhoods. And that is a value that I have heard many councillors espouse. And I think that this really speaks to that. Meanwhile, um, we are losing homes. I think that the city policies tend to incent demolition as opposed to retention. They're quite challenging around additional secondary suites. And that's something that I would like to see meaningfully happen if it goes to Q2 and then council has to take a look at it and then nothing happens for the end of 2020 and then we're into 2021 we're before the second year of the term. And I don't think that we can wait on an issue like this. So for those reasons, I will be voting against the referral. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Bly. Thank you, and I'll also keep my uh, comments brief. I'll be voting against the referral. I think that we have to be careful not to add things to the citywide plan. We know that people are being shuffled around internally to make the citywide plan something that we can actually achieve. And then if we start the practice of adding things to the citywide plan, but depending on how we feel about it, we're going to open up a whole, um, I think we're going to open up something that won't be a process that we can hold the staff accountable to delivering on as they are working so hard to do. So I, I just, and we decided on temporary modular housing across the city without referring to the citywide plan. We continue to work on the Broadway plan without referring to the citywide plan. So referring things to the citywide plan just hasn't been our practice so far. So I'm curious as to how we could justify doing that now. And then we can amend timelines. Yes, it seems very soon. We've got a whole process where we can amend things like that. That's such, such a specific detail as a timeline. We could do that. Um, and then, yeah, I think at the end of the day, this motion does stand alone. Um, it does provide different levels of affordability in terms of housing options. And we have to right away start to preserve that uh, as soon as we can and not wait for a three-year delivery. Thanks very much. Uh, Councillor Hardwick? Um, echoing some of what I've heard here, we have been passing um, other uh, applications for a, additional rental and affordable housing for new development, uh, and we haven't slowed down doing that in consideration of the citywide planning process, nor have we in, in the temporary modular housing. So to say that we would uh, hold up the ability to be adding secondary suites and in particularly making it easier for people to renovate their existing houses to create more opportunities. And we're talking about significant numbers of opportunities for additional development within uh, character houses throughout the, the, the city. So the argument that this should wait for the citywide plan, given all of the other um, housing that we are approving notwithstanding, is, um, I just would argue, is, is, is out of line. I'd also like to say that, and, and I've mentioned this to people before, during the Second World War, of course, there was no housing that was built in this city. And after the war, the city went out to people across the city and said, can you create more secondary suites? Can you create more housing uh, for people coming back from the war? And the city did that. The people rose to the, to the occasion and created more space, more affordable rental at that time. And we should be doing the same thing now and to say that it's okay that we can accommodate new development in light of the citywide plan and not accommodate renovation, I think is, is out of line. So obviously I won't be supporting this referral. Thank you. On to Councillor Boyle. Thanks, uh, and I'll be brief too. Um, I, I like a lot of what's in this motion actually and I think there's lots of points in this that are um, points uh, of 
shared of overlap uh, between Councillor Hardwick and I. Um, and so I am uh, keen to see quick starts come out of it. Um, I, I will be supporting the referral. I'm not comfortable supporting the motion as it stands. And so we could spend a bunch of time dancing around a bunch of amendments, but I, I actually think these are um, key conversations already within the scope that's been laid out for the citywide plan and with the possibility of quick starts, knowing this is work that's been going on for a while that we have lessons from past staff reports, um, I, I feel comfortable that we can get to uh, still a, a good timeline on it um, and, uh, and move a lot of the um, key pieces of this forward. Thank you. Uh, Councillor DeGenova. Just to end, I don't disagree with Councillor Boyle. Um, however, I, I'm really concerned that this will hold up affordable housing. So if we need to, and I think there's an, there's an, there are, is some time between meetings that perhaps we could see things thoughtfully brought back in a way that would make sure that we didn't have an un, the unintended consequence of actually facing the fact that we may not see uh, secondary suites and those renovations that Councillor Hardwick talks about and encouraging people to do that, uh, but we won't see that happen until the citywide plan. So in fact, I'm concerned that more and more people will uh, choose not to put their suites online because they're confused about the process right now because they're waiting for the citywide plan and I would hate to see the, some of the most affordable housing in the city of Vancouver not be um, offered in the rental market. So for that reason, I will not be supporting the referral. And I agree with Councillor Boyle's points, but because I agree with them, I think it's important that we get affordable housing options online as soon as possible. So I will not be supporting the referral. And I would hope that we could all have a very democratic discussion tomorrow on this in unfinished business. Thanks very much, Councillor Weep. Um, yes, I appreciate hard work. Councilor Hardwick putting this forward. I think it was great having the conversations. I think um, lots of information. I think it's got a little too much um, detail in it to the point that it brings up things that aren't consistent with what we're, the goal is. I really think that the end goal everyone on this council um, wants to get to. Um, but I will be supporting the referral. Looking forward to the conversation happening in the second quarter of 2020 on character home retention. And I really think that there is some really innovative and creative ideas in this motion um, that need to be visited and looked at. And I look forward to further conversations. Thank you, Councillor Dominato. Uh, thanks, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'll be brief as well, but I, I am very supportive of um, this motion going forward tomorrow at um, our standing committee. I'm not going to support the referral. And the reason being it's been covered already is in part the affordability question. And one of the things that came up when we were uh, campaigning was um, not only housing and affordability in the city, but our underutilized housing stock. And so obviously I think many of us have been very supportive of adding supply, uh, but I also think uh, we need to leverage that existing housing stock and it often provides some of the more affordable um, housing uh, for people, as well as it actually helps others who are homeowners as well. But I, I am, uh, I'm, I'm not going to support the referral today, and so I just wanted to add my voice uh, to that conversation. And uh, I think that there's an important conversation that needs to take place here, and I think that that could take place tomorrow at our standing committee. Uh, Councillor Hardwick, you've got about three minutes left. Um, even though my brain is not working very well right now, um, I, because I oppose this referral, but I do think that uh, from what I've heard from Councillor Boyle and others there, uh, and Councillor Weeb and actually everybody that, I, that there, um, there is uh, room for movement on this, I w would like to withdraw the motion and uh, rework it and bring it forward in two weeks' time. Okay. Uh, we will need to vote on this amendment First, I think you'd have to have the, the amendment withdrawn because it's on the that's what we're talking about on the floor so um, I don't have anybody else to speak it's up to Councillor Carr if she would withdraw her okay so we need a seconder for that withdrawal thank you and all in favor of 
Great, thank you. So that's withdrawn. Um, so we go back to the main queue. We have, um, so I, mm, I'm just trying to remember, do you have to have the floor to withdraw? Okay. So, Councillor Hardwick, are you uh, moving then to withdraw your motion? Okay, great. So, we need a seconder for that. Uh, Councillor Bly, I saw you first. Uh, all in favour then of supporting this? Any opposed? Great. Okay, that is withdrawn. Thank you very much.